Hi guys, welcome back. So if you look here, I have uh, a load of building stuff. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll spin you around and I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the if you look at the garden bar door there, that gap is uh, too small. This, the gap between the wall and the side of the bar there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front off the garden bar. This side wall is coming out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the bar right up. Uh, so it's going to come right across to the filter shed. I've got block here. I'm going to build the wall across here and the door is going to be here. The side of the filter shed is going to come off. So basically all this is going to be one big, uh, one big room. Uh, and the, the the bar is going to have a proper bar sticking out so when I'm in, actually coming here I come walk in and round so all that's going to be gone so that's the plan so this this roof here will come straight along It'll be about the same height as this here so that's that's what I'm going to be doing uh, so I'm going to uh, crack on with that now. Right guys, so as you can see, that front being off there, it's got all that space there. So, uh, just need to put some supports on for the roof. And build the wall across here. Uh, so what I'll do now is, I think I'll just start building the wall and then I can get a frame up and join that to the roof and, and put a beam over so that'll stop the roof moving Okay, so you might get a bit of an idea of what I'm on about now so this is the doorway I'm going to put a window in here possibly a window in there and then I'm going to put a frame up, connect it to the roof and then I come across yeah, so that's how I'm going to do it just to open it all up but obviously keep it dry and then the, I can like take this side off the filter shed and then I can move if I need to, move filter equipment around just space it all out Okay guys, so that's the uh, the walls done. Can't do nothing now until these walls are solid set. And I can start doing the frame for the top and then we can start doing it all, connecting it all together. So, so that's it for today I think. So this gap here, it's not a... Uh, 30 inch uh, gap which are a, a standard doors 30 inches so I'll be making a custom made uh, door for here uh, I'm going to try and use what I've uh, got uh, yeah I'm going to try and use what I've got save a bit of money And hopefully, I can get all this done before um, the really bad weather sets in. So, here, guys, I've been given a UPVC window, fully working, nothing wrong with it. So, so rather than use the uh, perspex, I'll use that so I can either put it on this side of you. Or this side here, uh, and that I think there's about a four or five inch gap at the top, so it's it's definitely 
just the right size fully working so yeah I'll get the uh, get the framework done tomorrow uh, so I'd like to add two windows in in there but one is one's better than none so yeah I'll do the framework tomorrow and then I can get that window uh, put in and then board this one of the sides up so I think I'll probably put the window uh, in this side here well, that's the plan anyway so yeah we're getting there right so we've made a bit of progress so we've got the window in frame so um, that's all I'm doing for today uh, but it's coming on just got to uh, board that side and uh, do the frame for the door and start on the roof and I think that'll do it wind is all working Nice bottom. It's a bit messy on that corner there, but you won't see that when the uh, board's on top of it. So yeah, coming on. Took me a couple of hours to do that. Right guys, so got the uh, cladding done. Well, sort of done. Just need to do that little bit over there. And then I've got to do the bottom, I'm just going to paint that black, I think, to go with the other side of there, so it's just matching. Uh, and then I can start doing the, the back of the roof and all that. So, yeah, all in a day's work. So that's all uh, I'm doing for now. So... I'm going to call it a day with this video. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you all very soon. So, cheers.